What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll talk about decluttering your internal communication. Does this situation sound familiar to you? You've received information by the promoter from next Saturday's gig about the get-in times, set times and information about backline. You post it in your band's shared Facebook group in order to inform everyone and discuss the details. 30 minutes later, your drummer shares a meme in your shared Facebook chat about the real-life Tarzan not knowing women existed, along with a picture of Tarzan and Dream Theater fans doing a handshake. For 10 minutes, your whole band goes bananas sharing related memes and talking shit, and no one really responds to your pretty important message. Four hours passes and still no one has responded. The next morning, you completely forget about it too. Thursday comes by and you're busy at your day job, and out of thin air, you're struck with panic. Oh my god, we didn't discuss the get-in times, the set times. What about backline? Are we bringing backline? Is the headliner bringing backline? What about merch? Who's driving? What about a trailer? What about a van? Why has no one responded to the message? Yeah, us too. We've all been there. The moral of this story is astoundingly simple. Don't mix business with pleasure. Let me elaborate. This example is just one of countless examples of how important information can get lost in a shared band chat. While it's easy to think that it's your bandmate's fault that they didn't respond or follow up on your message, it's probably not the whole story. In fact, it's most likely a flaw in your systems. The old adage of not mixing business with pleasure doesn't just apply to starting a company with a girlfriend or partying with coworkers. It also applies when it comes to structuring a business and internal communication system. Like most people in bands, you've probably never considered such a thing as an internal communication system. Surely we had not when we first got started. If you're anything like us, you've probably just adapted the services that you use in your daily lives, such as Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp or Telegram. Maybe even a closed Facebook group for a band that no one really sees or uses. And that's it. The problem with using these services mindlessly is that there are often blurry boundaries between what is important and what is not important. And there's also a lack of indexing and separation between distinct areas of your band's operations. The result? Messages get lost and often very important messages. There's really only one way to make sure that important messages don't get lost in a sea of dank memes. And that is to get organized about your communication. While there are countless services available to do such a thing, there is one big winner in our minds and that is a service called Slack. Slack is a communications platform that allows you and your team to create individual channels corresponding to a particular area of your band's business. This could be a channel dedicated only to concert, a channel dedicated only to merchandise and so on. Within each channel, you can create a thread, not unlike in a Facebook group, in which members can reply inside of the thread. Following this kind of structure, it's possible to keep very clear boundaries between related and unrelated information. Let's look at an example. You're in the process of ordering 100 new t-shirts from your merchandise printer, but you want to discuss sizing and quantities of each size with your bandmates before ordering. You jump onto Slack, head to your merchandise channel and create a new thread. Hey dudes, I'm ready to place the t-shirt order we discussed last Tuesday, but we didn't decide on how many to order of each size. I'm thinking something like 10 small, 20 medium, 30 large, 30 XL, and 10 double XL. What do you think? Your bandmate replies in the thread. We still have a few left of the double XL from the last order. So maybe we could just order five of them this time and instead add five extra to the large. A second band member gets involved. I agree. Actually, the same goes for small. So maybe in the end, we can do five small, 35 large, 35 XL, and five double XL. Everyone agrees and it's settled. And in the end, you have a clear conversation about the merchandise devoid of any dank memes. And you can easily find the thread later in your Slack channel if you need to. Everything stays professional and clear. Another cool thing about Slack and probably also other related services is that you can have dedicated channels for certain band members. So this is in case the information in there is not really necessary for everyone to know about. This could be stuff like digital marketing, content creation or something else that only concerns a few members. This keeps things simple and it makes people more engaged in the channels that they're actually part of and expected to follow. On the same note, you can also invite external collaborators such as your label or your manager to participate in certain channels. 
This could be as a replacement to emails or Facebook chats indeed, or just as a supplement to those things. This of course requires them to be okay with using Slack, but we highly recommend having that conversation. Slack is free to use up to the first 10,000 messages and with a few limitations to functionalities and integration options. But it's more than enough to get started and use for quite some time. If you run out of space or you simply want more functionalities, Slack has a subscription model where you have either monthly or yearly subscriptions. And the good news is that only one member needs to be on a paid subscription because it applies to your whole workspace. However, we don't recommend upgrading until it's necessary. So what about your Facebook chat? Since everyone these days uses either Facebook, WhatsApp or Telegram for your kind of daily communication, it's probably easy for you to use and a big part of your routine. The answer is that you should of course keep your Facebook chat with your band, but just change the functionality of it. Instead of using your one chat for everything related to your band, which you're probably doing right now, use that chat for quick non-essential information that is not super important to remember later. Something that nobody really needs to remember tomorrow and something that doesn't have any adverse effects for your band's operation if it's lost. So let us know in the comments if you're inspired to use something like Slack for your band's communication. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give the video a like if you find it useful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.